Now our first guest speaker today is Bill. He's a good friend of Mickey and managing director of Numbers Talk, providing services as strategic planning specialist, business mentor, commercial associate, contract and artificial intelligence development. James Brown no Naitai Dinaraque. You Jindiari, Japan Homes no Sacho no Mikisa. Raihin no Minasama. Watashi no Naumai na Wudumu Karaitiana des. Auckland to Christchurchi ni Iru ni Hunjin to Shinko Gaadimas. Kambamwa. Kambamwa. Consul of Japan, Mr. Hamada. Greetings. I pay my respects to you. James Brown, leader of Naitai and uh, land developer, I pay respects to you. <coughs> Mickey, the CEO of Japan Homes, I pay respects to you. Distinguished guests who are here this evening, and ladies and gentlemen, greetings. Um, so Mickey's very specific example is, is uh, something that really leads into what I was going to talk about. And more common than not, we, we hear quite a lot about the economics and the environment and all that stuff. But in fact, the world is so complex that now we have to consider to be everywhere and consider everything. So that's what I'm going to talk about. It's not just about economics. Um, it's about taking into account some of the big uh, global trends that are happening to us. So the first one of those is the recession inflation paradox. So in response to that, and this is what I really like about Mickey's approach, is that we need to base our companies based on some value. It needs to have something different. Happiness is a good thing to have as part of your company. You know, being different having suppliers that get things on time. So these things enhance our revenue. Also understanding where we are on the business cycle so that when we set our pricing, our pricing is right because when we go on the downward part of the business cycle, we're not making as much money but we need to set our pricing right so when we come up on the upside of the business cycle, we're really making hay. So that's in terms of the business cycle and the operations, but then we come to the more difficult question of allocating our capital um, and getting our capital structure right. And that's having good partners that are flexible, that understand your business cycle, that understand the, the relationship that you have in terms of the amount of debt and the amount of equity. And, and it's actually uh, through the, the things that I bring to the table for Mickey, mm -hmm. is being able to bring together those people that are consistent with those values. And the key thing around that are the time frames. So where does all that lead to? Um, we're not even talking about the Reserve Bank official cash rates. What we're looking at is how do we become self-sufficient? How do we engage in, in, in what we do and how do we get our supply chains and reorient our efforts to take into account the geopolitics and the incompetence that we have in our political leadership? How do we also, with the added bonus in New Zealand, uh, property, the main advantage in property are, are, are the tax savings. Property investment is um, is biased to being tax free. So people were wondering why aren't rents going up? The rents are going up a little bit, but they're not really going up because the people that own the properties are hiding money so they don't have to pay tax on it. So there's a lot of tax advantages in owning property and doing land development. So, so how does that help us? We need to start looking at how can we be self-sufficient. And I really like Mickey's view around helping families to be able to meet their costs, helping families to become happy so that people in those houses, in those families, are becoming New Zealanders and are going to become functioning New Zealanders that are part of a happy household, a happy community and a happy country. Um, so that's where I would just want to finish there and just say that 
All of these geopolitical swings that we've got, the big moves around the world, are impacting on what we do. And so when we're running a business in any place in the world, we need to stand back and look at the whole globe because we're all impacted on globalization. And we need to be monitoring the systems and, and the influences that are affecting our business. And uh, I'm thrilled to be able to be walking alongside Mickey and help him to go to that 1,000 homes because that I think is an honourable goal. And what I like about him, he's doing it for the betterment of people and, dare I say it, for the country. And we've lost that sense of national identity in New Zealand. And it's good to be part of a company or a walking alive the song a kid's side a company that's actually doing something for this country. So I'd just like to give Mickey a clap and, and praise him for all of the work that he's been doing. Thank you, Mickey. <laughs>